Warning. Graphic scenes of pest control. Do not watch if you might be offended. Although I've had the TQ50 thermal scope for quite a while, I haven't actually managed to get out that often. This is only the second fox that I've actually managed to get a shot at. I've seen a few others and I've generally been very impressed with how it works. The only thing I'd probably change about the TQ50 is its base optical magnification. I do find that one is a bit on the low side. Perhaps a two, two and a half or three would be better for my applications. Although I am going to be trying it on rats and I would imagine that it will be absolutely fantastic for those. Base mag of one should work really well. I've not cut down the uh, length of this video at all. I've just let it run. It's not that long and I think it's worth um, seeing it all because it shows how good the uh, TQ50 really is. Here we've got um, two Chinese water deer in the foreground with their sort of teddy bear ears, easily recognisable. And then standing on the old hedge line are four roe deer. And lolloping along in the background is uh, a hare. And just there on the left is another hare poking over the uh, long grass. Sorry about the... Uh, moving around there just trying to get myself comfortable I'm actually standing right out in the middle of uh, a cereal crop it's about four inches high it's very very wet which is why it's looking so dark it's been a lovely warm day but uh, the moisture on the uh, cereal has made it um, a bit dark as a background I could lighten up the image perhaps but um, I think it all works very well As I'm standing out in the open, the deer are definitely aware that something's going on. The roe deer are far enough away that they're not too concerned. And they do tend to be quite laid back anyway, um, particularly at night. But the Chinese water deer are a, a little bit more um, frisky, shall we say. I noticed uh, on this night that the uh, hares did seem to run around a lot. Um, it wasn't that they were chasing each other around. Uh, there were one or two doing that. But um, they just seemed to be on the move a lot more than normal. Perhaps it's because it's a breeding season and they're all a bit fired up. Because I wasn't sure what the furthest uh, hare was, I had been calling with um, a wham caller and lo and behold, this fox appears. Don't know what those birds were, it um, went straight through the middle of whatever they were. There's another one that obviously sat a bit tight, always after a quick meal if they can get up. momentarily lost sight of the fox behind this tree and uh, the long grass but um, here it comes the wham fox call may be an old-fashioned call by a lot of people's standards but it is still very very effective providing you know how to blow it properly of course at this stage this fox is uh, totally unaware that I'm there it um it certainly does seem to notice a bit um later on when it uh, sits and looks in my direction but by that time it was too late i could have shot this fox earlier it uh, was well within range but uh, there are houses in the far distance so i preferred to wait until um it was closer and uh, i was shooting more downwards towards it this would have been a good opportunity but it wasn't really um, settled. And here we go. Any moment now. Uh, 
a good solid shot straight to the bib no um, rolling around or running around which is what I like to see uh, the Fox was a, a small vixen probably one of the smallest I've seen but, um, it was a good one to take out it was uh, in very good condition